Hazing is a really big issue right now, and it's certainly something that uh, I've been very aggressive with trying to understand and teach my players about exactly how we're supposed to behave and what we're supposed to do. There, are, there's no hazing. There's no, there's no room for it. We're trying to build a team, and when when we invite someone to become a member of our team, and we decide that that's their place, they're a member of our team. They don't need to prove anything. They don't need to go through some ritual from the mid '60s that that, that that proves that they can be a member of the team. They're a member of the team, and they're going to be a member of the team by how hard they work and the effort that they put in. And, how they treat others and whether they show their teammates respect, that's gonna make sure that they're a teammate. And this whole notion that you need to, to go through some ceremonial process to become a member of the team that involves demeaning or, or in some cases painful processes, is, it, it doesn't make sense when you're trying to build a team. That, that's not how you treat a teammate. So why would you do that to a, a young guy on the team? I, that, it's completely backwards. If you're trying to build a culture of respect, of good team chemistry, of, of really healthy relationships. Uh, it can't start by beating somebody up. It's gotta start by having a good dialogue with somebody and understanding who they are as a person. That's how you build relationships.